it's time to introduce you to all of our extended family. So, you might think our extended family is a little bit weird, but here we go. That right there is Wally. He's a cat. Stupid. Stupider. Stupidest. They're guinea hens. That's Tori. He's peanut. And over here is a rooster. That's a floofy face being chased by stupid. Here's a bear shot of Rooster. His name's the cat. That chicken right there for Afro, that's Filbert. It's Petunia. That's the evil one. Mabel and Marmalade. And um, the turkey, Crunk. That chicken right there is Cud. And Silver's the one who's screaming. Me and Crunk game fights often. She's a mutton. She's really excited to meet ya. It's Molly. Molly. Hey, Toodles. Yeah, they're hungry. They want to eat the turkey. Yeah. This guy, he's Morris. He's a good puppy dog. Hey, Toodles. Toodles is always very excited. There's the other fluffy faced chicken. Now you get to meet the ducks. That's Flora, Lefty and Pong, Floyd, Ducky, and this last one over here is Jumper. He can fly. The other ones are too fat too. Come here. She likes to try to beat us up. She tries to eat us. It's kind of cannibalistic that way. What's she gonna do? Let's try to get her aggravated. You know, it's kind of funny. Some people think that in order to qualify as being family, you have to be human. But I've found that if you have a pet long enough, it starts to seem like family. I mean, many animals have human characteristics. Take that white sheep up there, for instance. All she ever does is eat. Take Peanut, for example, this sheep right here. He's very afraid of people. He's very shy and timid. Isn't that right, little peanuts? But some of you might be questioning why the animals are on here, but 
you're part of my family because they're just so much fun. Hey Toes! This is Tori. She's a she's less than a year old. We got her last summer. And all she's done since then is eat. What's going on Toes? Huh? Very curious about what this thing is. Here. If you look at that branch right there, though, she stripped off all the bark and eaten it. Last Saturday, this branch was had just barely been cut off the tree. Back there in our burn pile, there's many more that they stripped all the bark off of. Tori's one of the main ones doing the work. Sometimes it's a joke to say that our brothers are animals. That our sister, she's a pig, you know? But it's kind of true, because animals and humans are very much alike. It's kind of weird, but you know, if any of these animals ever died, I'd be devastated. Because they're just like another branch off of our family, even though all they do is eat. But yeah. Peep. She's one of our cats. She's a couple years old. She's female. She's really awesome. When we found her, she we found her as a kitten in a dumpster at the Purple Turtle down in Pleasant Grove. Um, we couldn't just let her die. And so we brought her home. Even the vet, though, said that her chances of making it didn't look too good. But she's made and now is totally considered a member of our family. It's a good cat. Catnip plant. My cats go and get high like every five minutes. They're very wired. But Wally wants Peeve to get away from his cat catnip plant. He wants them too. But she has no intention of giving up. Go away, Katie. Yeah.